Okay, we have a word problem that's going to involve an exponential equation. A sum of $5,000 is invested at an interest rate of 5% per year. Find the time required for the money to double if the interest is compounded semi-annually. This is a formula that we use for compounded interest. So let's fill in what we know. Okay, so our principal, we have a sum of $5,000 that we are going to invest. So our principal will be $5,000 times 1 plus, the rate is 5%. So I do need to change that to a decimal, 0 0.05. And I am going to compound it semi-annually. That's my N. How many times per year do I compound it? Semi-annual means 2. If it was quarterly, I'd put 4. If it was daily, I'd put 365. And I'm supposed to raise that to the NT. So N, of course, is 2 again. But guess what? I don't know the time. That's what they're asking me in this problem. Find the time required for the money to double. Well, if I had 5000 I want to know when my money becomes 10000 I don't know the time. Now, in previous problems, we would give you all of this information and you would find out the money. You had no equation to work. It was just a calculator problem. But here, I'm looking for the time. I am looking for T. So I do have 10,000 equals 5,000. Now to simplify this a bit, I'm going to go ahead and do this in the calculator. 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2. That will be 1.025. Now, my variable is in the exponent. That means I need to take the log or the natural log of both sides. But if I'm going to do that, I need just the 1.025 raised to this exponent. I need to get rid of this 5,000. This 5,000 is not raised to the exponent. Well, we can do that. I will divide by 5,000. But if you divide one side by 5,000, you've got to divide the other side by 5,000. 10,000 divided by 5,000 is just 2. And yes, these 5,000 will cancel out. And I have 1.025 to the 2t. And now I'm going to take the log. Actually, I will do the natural log of both sides. And why did I do that? Because if I take the natural log of a number raised to an exponent, I do know this exponent comes down in front. So I will now have the natural log of 2, and that will equal 2t times the natural log of 1.025. Now I'm going to divide, because remember I'm trying to solve for t. I'm going to divide by the natural log of 1.025, but we need to do that on both sides. These will cancel out. Now, you can go ahead and put this in your calculator. Natural log of 2 divided by natural log of 1.025. Get an answer, but then we're going to have to take that answer and divide it by 2. Some people like to do it all in one step. At, in this step, they would divide this by 2 also. T is equal to the natural log of 2, that's what's in the numerator, divided by 2 times the natural log of 1.025. Let's go to our calculator and see what answer we get. Okay, so I am going to do mine in two steps. So we have the natural log of 2. I'm going to divide that by the natural log of 1.025. But remember, I wasn't done. I had to take that and divide it by 2. So it looks like I will have $10,000 in approximately 14.04 years. So I will have $10,000 in about 14 years. Now, I want to use the same problem. And instead of semi-annually, what if it is compounded 
continuously. Well, then I have to use my PERT formula. Let's fill in the basic information. I want to know when I have $10,000, how much money am I going to put into the bank? It will be $5,000 E. The rate at 5%, that would be 0 0.05 and I'm looking for the time. I don't know the time. Now, why do you think this formula doesn't have an N in it? The other formula, we had an N. That's how many times per year it is compounded. Well, I'm not compounding it semi-annually or quarterly or daily. I am compounding it continuously. Well, let's do a little bit of work. I see the E. I see my variable in the exponent, so I will take the natural log of both sides. But I need this e to the exponent by itself. So I will divide both sides by 5,000. I will have 2, and that will equal e to the point zero five t. And now I can take the natural log, as long as I do it, to both sides. So I will have the natural log of 2, and the natural log of e to whatever exponent's up there is just that exponent. In this case, it's 0 0.05t. If you want, you can put a zero before your decimal point. That's probably a better practice. That is being multiplied by t, so I will divide both sides by 0 0.05. This one is not as hard to type into your calculator. t will equal the natural log of 2, close that parentheses, then divide it by 0 0.05. And my time is approximately 13.86 years, approximately. So this problem, I first worked it, and I used the compounded interest formula. I used 2 for semi-annually, and I had about $10,000 in about 14 years, a little bit over 14. But if I compounded it continuously, that's when I use the PERT formula, I would have $10,000 in about 13.86 years, a little bit less than 14.